guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So if you are new, then hello there. It's really nice to meet you. My name is Tanika. I hope that you enjoy on the channel. So please feel free to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy. And if you are always here, then welcome back. So when I was originally started off YouTube, I wanted to do a lot of advice videos because I love giving people advice. And in my relationships in life, I generally a lot of people come to me for advice and I'm always just good at it because it just comes to me naturally and I really like to do it. So I'm starting back my series called Hashtag Advice Cast and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So what I want you guys to do for me is if you have any questions relating to this topic or relating to any other topic, I want you to ask me your questions with the hashtag advice of cast, comment below or tweet me with that hashtag. January would mark January would mark my four year relationship. So I've been in a pretty long relationship. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys some advice on how to maintain a long-term relationship. So I'm not saying that I'm an expert or anything like that, but I just think that I picked up a little bit of tips on the way that would really, really help. It helped me, so I think that it would help you guys. So if you want to see that, then continue. So my relationship was a little bit of a simple story. It's like really, really short, but it's like... A very very weird story but I'm not gonna get into that if you do want to hear that though comment below let me know I will do a video on that if you want that and I was also thinking that I would do a Q and a so if you guys have any questions for me then comment below with the hashtag Q and a. let's just get into the five tips that you need to know to maintain a long-term relationship number one compromise and sacrifice you have to be selfless and you cannot be a stubborn person. When you go into this relationship, it is not the attitude of your way or the highway. Because that definitely will not keep you into this relationship long. So, basically what you do is, for example, if your partner is not comfortable with something that you do, and he, doesn't, he or she doesn't like it, then you either like lessen down on that behavior or you don't do it at all. I'm not saying that you have to change your whole life and become a totally different person. Because that person fell in love with you for who you are. So all you have to do was share on different things that you guys like to do and what you don't like to do. Meet each other halfway on different situations and you just really really have to learn to compromise different things in your relationship so that things would go well. And number two, communication. I cannot trust how important communication is in a long term relationship. But basically you must be able to listen to the other person and you must be able to understand and express your feelings yes I know expressing your feelings that's sometimes the hardest thing the hardest part of life for most of us but we have to do it even if we aren't able to open ourselves totally little by little and as time days months years go by we begin to accustom and comfortable to the person and then we would be able to express ourselves a little more easier but we still are we still should be able to express ourselves somewhat so for example if we don't like um, something if we feel uncomfortable with the person doing something we must be able to express that we must be able to say the most important thing is that you love the person I think that is one of the most important things that you must be able to say women love to be told I love you on a daily basis they don't want to just be in a relationship and you're just say you 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 love them and you show them that you love them but you don't actually say the words I love you that could actually leads to insecurities and you do not want that guys and girls you must be able to listen to the other person too and you must be able to try to understand them just relax and take a moment to try to understand what the other person is trying to say even if your brain is very very crowded just take a moment and relax and the three time you should be able to balance between all aspects of your life and have time for that special and significant other person in your life. Go to school, but I don't work. So I have to balance my life into school, home life, my boyfriend, and YouTube because I love to do YouTube. YouTube is one of the main aspects of, of my life. So I have to balance all my time into doing this. And time is something that I struggle with for a very, very long time. I'm still struggling with it, but thanks to my partner who has a very very understanding personality and he actually helps me into into balancing my time into doing those other things and having time for him so you should be able to try and schedule your life a little bit what really helps me is i write down all the different things that i have to do so i would pick days to do specific things you have to have 
that time for that significant other because you want to maintain something that is really going to strike really really long in your heart number four being the bigger person this again is super 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 important this is again something that I definitely struggle with you have to try to be calm you have to be the person that lessens the amount of arguments or quarrels that you would have with the significant other person. You, if you are going to start an argument, you know that an argument is going to start. You have to actually take a minute and just relax, breathe, calm down yourself, count backwards, count forward. Sometimes counting from one to ten backwards actually helps me calm down. And just take that time to relax. And basically, when you take that time, you actually think more clearly and you will not say stupid things that you don't mean to say that basically sometimes ends relationships I know it's kind of weird but you would say things in the heat of the moment that you are not meant to say sorry if I'm looking down but I'm looking at my point but anyway you must also learn to maintain a good tone when speaking to someone so if you're angry about something and you're still trying to get your point across and let the person know exactly what you're feeling you have to try to maintain a subtle tone for example what I would do is if I'm angry at something today, I would probably talk about it a few hours after when I've calmed down or probably talk about it on the other day when I know I'm totally calm but I would write down exactly what I have to say so I wouldn't forget anything because you know at the heat of the moment you remember everything. What I also like to do to help me be the bigger person is that I find something else to occupy my time. So if I'm very very angry at something or something that the person did or something like that, I occupy myself with something else so for example YouTube is something that really really helps me I get so indulged into YouTube because I love making videos and I love looking at them and listening to music and singing is two of the most important things I also meditate from time to time so those are the things that help me so when you have to find something to basically project your feelings onto that activity that you're going to do so you would not feel or angry most of the time and you will have all these tense of feelings actually left it out into something that's constructive and creative. Number five and one of the most important ones is to be yourself. Do not put on an act and do not change yourself along the relationship and never be easily influenced by other people. What I mean by that is a lot of people would go through their relationships and they would be like well I do this and I do that and basically it pleases my significant other but what you need to realize is that a lot, every single relationship is different and everybody likes things differently and also keep in mind that the person fell in love with you for who you are and not someone else so that is one of the most important things in maintaining a long-term relationship thank you guys so very very much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video so don't forget to tweet me with questions for my q a with the hashtag q a and also tweet me questions and on any advice tips that you need with the hashtag advice as well so see you in my next video bye up emotions and feelings and you usually have like a lot of confusion going up in here then I strongly suggest that you write down everything in a journal or any book because when you write them down you actually feel less crappier about yourself your life and sometimes your emotions can get pretty pretty crazy